The Direct2 feature is a powerful way to quickly navigate to any navigational waypoint. As the name implies, it navigates directly to the selected location. The Direct2 feature is elegant in its simplicity. You press Direct2, it goes there. Even if you have a flight plan navigation in progress, activating Direct2 will immediately override the flight plan to get you directly to your requested destination. There are several different ways to activate the Direct2 feature in the Skyview HDX, but the most obvious is to push button 2 just below the Direct2 icon on the main menu bar. If the Direct2 feature is activated in this manner, the HDX system will simply bring up the information window. Using the input keypad, you can search for any navigational waypoint such as airports, fixes, etc. Once the navigation source has been found, simply push Direct2 again to initiate. At this point, a magenta course line for navigational guidance will show up on the map page. A magenta course line will appear in the HSI if the Skyview GPS is selected as your navigation source in the source selection window. Another approach to activating the Direct2 feature is to use a touch action on the moving map page. If a navigational waypoint is visible on the screen, simply touch it. The item will be highlighted in white and a pop-up block of informational text about that item will appear. This is the first step or layer in confirming the navigational item you have selected. If you have selected an item that does not contain information within the Skyview database, no pop-up informational block will appear. Now, once again, push button 2 with the Direct2 icon above it on the main menu bar. The information page will be displayed and any information in the Skyview database will be presented. This is the second layer confirming the item you selected is the navigation waypoint you intended. This is a unique and important safety feature of the Skyview system. If the information window does not show the item you have selected, you can exit and try again. Or you can search for the item in the database using the touch keypad. By selecting the Direct2 button again, the HDX system immediately starts navigation to that selected item. Touching any location on the map page where no navigational waypoint is available, a temporary navigational waypoint will be created. And just like what was done with any of the known waypoints, selecting the Direct2 command will provide navigation to that specific temporary waypoint. The information page will simply read Map Pointer, giving the distance, bearing, estimated time and route, along with the lat long information for that specific location. The Direct2 feature, in combination with other menu selections, like the Nearest feature, can be one of the most powerful actions a pilot can have within the Skyview system. Enter the Nearest feature by selecting button number 3, labeled NRST for Nearest. A list of nearby navigational items will appear including airports, VORs, NDBs, fixes, and visual reference points. If any of these items are shown and the Direct2 command is visible, then that item can be navigated to. Using the knob or touch action of the HDX system, highlight the item. Once highlighted, activate the Direct2 navigational feature by pushing button number 3 with the Direct2 icon above it. If Skyview is the selected navigation source, Skyview HDX will immediately start navigating to the selected item as shown on the HSI with the magenta line. The Direct2 feature even works within the Weather tab on the nearest page. Imagine you are en route, but the weather at your destination is not conducive for landing, and you decide to divert. By simply selecting the nearest feature and scrolling to or tapping on the Weather tab, you can see airports within your area and what weather they are reporting. After deciding on the new destination, using the knob or again tapping the screen, highlight the item and activate the Direct2 command. Your flight plan within the Skyview system will immediately be updated with the new destination and navigation to that item will begin. Using the same selection sequence, the user can also directly navigate to any of the items on the tabs within the nearest page, 
with the exception of both the ATC and flight service station tabs, as these are radio frequencies and not navigation items. More information on the nearest feature and how to use it is available on the nearest feature video. Flight plans and the Skyview flight plan page provide an attractive condition where the direct to feature can be used. Within a multi-leg flight plan, the direct to feature can be initiated to jump to or override an active Skyview flight plan. Within the flight plan page, rotate the knob to highlight the waypoint you wish to jump to and press the direct to button. This feature allows you to temporarily divert without permanently losing your existing flight plan. Guidance will be provided to the newly selected waypoint along with the remaining waypoints on the flight plan. More on the Skyview flight planning will be covered in its own video. And finally, the Direct 2 button contains a push and hold feature that activates an OBS mode within the Skyview system. Again, select the navigational waypoint on the map, followed by pushing the Direct 2 button. When the information page appears, confirming the navigation point, push and hold the Direct 2 button to activate the OBS mode. The selected navigation point will then be highlighted in white on the map page and an inbound magenta course line will appear. That inbound course line can then be adjusted using the knob when it is designated as course or CRS in the menu window. This is very similar to how you would navigate with a VOR signal. This same OBS feature is available when the nearest information page is displayed. Again, simply highlight the navigation point, then push and hold the Direct 2 button, and the magenta inbound course line will appear. The OBS feature even works in the flight plan menu. Using the knob, scroll to highlight the navigational item you want to use for OBS. And in the same manner, push and hold the Direct 2 button. This activates the OBS feature. Now exit, and you can see the magenta course line on the navigational item that was selected. To cancel the OBS mode, go back into Flight Plan menu by pushing button 5. This will bring up the menu which will have the navigational waypoint currently in the OBS mode highlighted. From here, select button 7, Flight Plan menu. Using the knob, scroll down to Cancel OBS Mode and select by pushing the knob and again to confirm. Your flight plan will now resume starting at the navigational item that was used for the OBS Mode. Let's review. Selecting the Direct 2 button is a rapid and simple way to navigate directly to any navigational item in any mapping or informational environment on the Skyview system. Here again I am selecting an item on the map. The pop-up information block appears. I push button 2 under the Direct 2 icon and the information window appears showing all of the navigational data available for that item within the Skyview system. Pushing the Direct 2 button again will now command the Skyview system to start navigating to that selected item. If you know the destination you wish to navigate to, you don't need to find it on the map page. You can simply type in the identifier or name in the information page, and once the navigation populates, simply select the Direct To button, and again, the Skyview system will start navigating to that item. With a complete Skyview HDX system installed in the aircraft, along with an integrated autopilot, navigation is made simple, easy, and safer with features such as Direct2. Thank you for watching this HDX Academy video on the Skyview Direct2 feature presented by Dynon Avionics. If you haven't already subscribed to the Dynon YouTube channel, please do so now and select that notification button so that you will be alerted to new content when it appears. Our mission at Dynon is to create the best avionics and aircraft systems for light aircraft. Dynon is a worldwide leader for avionic systems in light sport, experimental, and certified aircraft, with a fleet of over 25,000 and growing.